Harry, a new contract at Leicestershire. Congratulations. How happy are you with that? No, very happy. You know, it was quite a difficult year last year, so to sign for two more years, um, yeah, it's a great feeling. You mentioned there, obviously, it was probably one of the most testing years you've had. The team going so well made it really hard uh, to break into. How did that challenge, you know, your patience and maybe your self-belief as well? No, the boys were amazing last year, um, and that definitely made me try and work harder. You know, that was the level expected. Um, I learned so much from, you know, the way Pete, Akers, um, Rahan, guys in the middle order went about their business and just tried to take that into my own game and, um, yeah, work as hard as you can to for one opportunity um, and try and take it when it comes. And you certainly did that. Obviously, a really special day uh, at Trent Bridge for that one-day cup final. You've had a month or so now to reflect on it. How special does that rank in, in your career? Nah, it's definitely top, yeah. Nothing nothing's come close. Um to win a win a competition with, you know, great people around me. Um and the boys were phenom- phenomenal that whole competition and we we really deserved it. Um yeah, definitely. Definitely top on my memories. I think on the day you were quite self facing saying that, you know, you you were taking a duck, um, just as long as the team won. It's a great mentality to have, but have you had time now to reflect on just how important those runs were with yourself and obviously Sam Evans at the other end as well? Yeah, Sam was brilliant. Um, he kept me calm at the start of my innings. I was a little bit nervous at the start, um, but he kept me calm. We worked in five other blocks. Um, but yeah, obviously the runs were important, you know. Um, but to be out there with him and then to be out there with, you know, the 11, 11 great men, Davo's catch was phenomenal. Holly's catch was phenomenal. You know, it, was a really, it really was a team effort. Um, and yeah, special day. And obviously with the fans behind us, particularly in that corner of the ground that was singing all day, cheering every wicket like it was the final uh, wicket to fall every run like it was a six. How important were the fans that day? No, they kept you going. You know, I was I was pretty tired towards the end, but you know the yeah the singing and you know the passion that they shown um, really kept us all going. You know, in them in them crunch moments, you need you need that extra little bit of help, and they definitely were. Um, you know, they were phenomenal, and um, yeah, thank you very much to every single one that turned out. And as a club, we've heard sort of the phrase, you know, keep the faith for a while, particularly as it being quite a young group for the last um, few years or so. But winning a trophy is always a sign of, of better things. How excited are you for the years ahead? No, definitely. You know, we are st- still quite a young squad, but a lot of these young lads, including myself, played a lot of cricket now. So, you know, we're, we're maybe young in terms of age, but not young in terms of experience. Um, we've won a final, our first final in. I think it's 10 years, um, 38 years in that competition. So, you know, we're ready to kick on and we've got to kick on. Um, we can't rest on last season. We've got to um, work really hard this winter and keep pushing our standards um, higher and higher and, um, and yeah, compete better in T20 because we weren't good enough this year. And, you know, Red Bull cricket was a successful year. We finished fourth, I think it was. Um, and, yeah, ready to go one step higher and finish in the top two. You talk... Uh, on yourself there as a young player, I think 24 now, but almost touching 100 professional appearances. So how confident do you feel in your own game or it's still that, that case of it's a continual learning process? It's always a learning process. You can always learn, you can always get better um, and you have to. Um, no matter if you've played 150 tests, you've still got to learn and still still trying to improve. Um, I do feel confident in myself as a person now and, and as a player. I've still got a lot of um, areas that I want to work on and strengths that I want to keep getting better. Um, you know, that final was obviously a big confidence boost to do it under under high pressure. Um, and, yeah, I've got to keep kicking on because, you know, that was that was weeks ago. You know, next season's coming up. You've got to keep striving to, to improve in every area of my game. I was going to ask really about, you know, obviously that 100 maybe renewing your, your confidence, but also now having the winter ahead of you, you've got that renewed motivation that, if, you know, you're going to fight for your place and you've got that every chance to do it next season? Oh, well, one million percent. Like I said, the final's forgotten about. That innings has been and gone. Um the most important days, you know, today and trying to get better. Um, and that's definitely going to be my mindset for, for this winter. Um, learn from what I did really well from from that game and other previous games that I've, I've performed well in, what was my mindset. Um, technically, was there anything I was doing? How was I reading the situation? Um, and learn from it. But, you know, don't don't think that anything's given you given to you um, today or tomorrow because you've got to you've got to work and you've got to and you've got to grind. I'm talking about your your technical uh, game. There's probably no one better to learn from than James Taylor, who'll be here again um, this winter. How do you find working with him across the summer, and how much more can you learn? Obviously, having more intense period across the winter with him this time around. No, I really enjoy working with Titch. He keeps it very simple for me. There's a couple of key things that he always keeps reiterating. Um, but yeah, he's got so much knowledge. Um, it's quite nice that he's quite small as well. Um, you know, we can similar styles maybe. Um, 
So that's really cool as well. But no, he's a, he's a great man and yeah, keeps it very simple, which I like. You touched on developing your own game and different facets, maybe in obviously wicket keeping as well. Uh, and the team point of view, T20 is an improvement for one. Have you got many goals in mind individually or personally that you want to strive towards in 2024 and beyond? No, definitely. I've got plenty of goals. Um, yeah, on, on different parts of the game. Um, so yeah, I'll be working hard to, to try to achieve them. And just finally, you mentioned the fans uh, at Trent Bridge, but they're always very supportive of you as a local lad anyway. What's your message to them and their support for you? No, thank you to every single one of you for your support. You know, you mean you mean the world and it was great to, to win a trophy for you guys because you deserve it. It's been too long um, and hopefully we can bring you more success in 2024.